after this, she goes up to him, arches over, and he sticks his finger in. <laughs> I gotta. There's no way that's real. This nigga has ruined the black community in so many ways, bro. <laughs> to talk about the degenerate content rush of 2024. The generates have existed on the internet since it's been invented. In the past, they would have to crawl to the little corners of the internet to not be seen. Places like 4chan and Reddit, you know. The most pop- Cloud, how many male porn stars can you name? Now, why would you ask a straight ass male that question, bro? I don't know male porn stars' names. I barely know female porn star names. Bro, I'm not gay. Come on, bro. I'm not paying attention to the dick. Positive oh, Jason Love too, of course, but that's it. Places a person can experience on the internet and totally not see anything bad ever. But in the past couple years, and especially this year, I've noticed the rise of degenerate content all over the place. You can't look at any platform nowadays without some deviates running around. Before it was just one or two websites, but now it's like every damn website you gotta expect at least one person. People are just sitting in rooms planning who can create the most degenerate days. One of the main things I've seen a rise of this year is the 20v1. At this point, it seems like everyone in the world has done a 20v1 like nowadays it's surprising if a youtuber hasn't done a 20v1 and chat yo somebody in my comment section keeps on asking me to do a 20v1 chat that costs a lot of money to set up because first off you got to get like one of those white rooms you got to rent that shit out then we got to find 20 girls in nashville it'll be entertaining oh that shit will be fire because y'all know me i'm gonna be completely real i'm gonna hurt some feelings and shit, man but look it's just like i don't know bro it. I might as well start one. My beautiful lady viewers of consensual age, go ahead and hit me up and let's get it started. Any, any day now. The concept of the 20v1 is you pretty much get a group of 20 people and one person. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, these were pretty entertaining. The Simon really had this shit on lock and basically. Oh yeah, back when Simon did this, shit, it was fire. I know this girl. A lie. These were pretty entertaining. The Simon. I've seen this girl somewhere. Or I've seen this archetype somewhere, bro. Really had this shit on lock and basically put it on. But as soon as rappers started to be put in them, everything went down. Before it was just focused on being as funny as possible and sometimes flirty. Click on a 20v1 now and you'd be lucky if you don't see someone getting f***ed in the first five minutes. The biggest <laughs> YouTuber known for this nowadays is named No Love. This nigga has ruined the black community in so many ways, bro. Like, uh, nah, bro. Love Mar. And when you look at the side men who do 20v1s, you know how they post different creative videos trying to elevate their channel up. This n literally just spams 20 That's all he does. All he does. 20v1s. All he does. It's the most annoying thing ever. Like, I don't know what he's going to do in like five years, bro. He is going to be cooked. V1s. I kid you not, that's his whole channel. Like, he pays these rappers and these celebrities to come on his shit and do 20 V1s too. Dog, what are you about to do when this whole trend ends? Your channel's about to plummet to graveyard levels. The worst thing you can do as a content creator is just spam the same thing over time until it's irrelevant. A exactly why I stopped the school shit. Y'all keep on telling me to do it, bro. No, bro. It's played out, bro. Everybody does it now. I'm not different no more. I don't want to do it. Perfect example is that kid that was copying speed. And let's see what he's up. Yo, the yo, what the hell, bro? Another gifted, bro? God damn. Yo, shout out to go, bro. God damn, bro. Appreciate you. You've given you've gifted 35 subs to this channel, nigga. That's insane, bro. What the hell? Clap it up again, bro. That's crazy. Up to now. Oh. A 20v1. To show y'all the lengths these YouTubers will take, I'll give two examples. And these out of everything I'm about to talk about in this video might be the most degenerate content I've seen all year, and that's saying something. There's this one right here called 50 Woman versus One Reality Star. I don't know who bro is, but that's irrelevant. In this video, he's talking to this one girl, and out of nowhere, she flashes the whole studio. That nigga drunk as fuck too, bro. What the hell? Oh, camera crew and other contestants with her cooch fallopian tubes. The coochie? Nigga, you, you don't got the decency of flashing the titties or ass or something? The coochie? Nobody want to see that twin. Out and all. After this, she goes up to him, arches over, and he sticks his finger in. <laughs> I got to There's no way that's real. There's no... Yo, what video is that? There's no way that's real. That's so nasty. Like, that's actually nasty. I got to keep this video monetized. So let's just say her happy place. Could be her ear. Could be her nose. Then with that same finger, puts it on her mouth, and she starts gobbling on it. Ingesting your own juices is... 
fucking insane. She must have learned that at one of them tech night parties. And the kicker is that whole scene is blurred out on YouTube, and the only way to see it is by going on his Patreon. Like, I hate niggas who do this. The whole scene is. I hate niggas who do this, bro. I hate niggas who do this. Yo, I hate niggas who do this shit, bro. Oh, me, that shit pissing me off. What the hell? Which reminds me. Yo, chat. We're supposed to do content creator of the week today. I'm going to do it later. I, I have a different content creator picked out for it. But whoever posted this video, they might get it for next week. I'm not going to lie. It's blurred out on YouTube, and the only way to see it is by going on his Patreon. Like, bro, if you're reaching this point of filming, you might as well become a corn director. You could probably make more money doing that anyways. And before y'all ask how I got it, no, I'm not a top-tier gooner. I've retired my ways. I literally wouldn't have seen this if somebody didn't tweet talking about this. But this other one is so bad, I don't even know how his channel is up. 20 girls versus one rap. This shit pissed me off, bro. This shit pissed me off. I wanted to watch this video on the stream, but there's no way I can make it through this whole video. There's absolutely no way I can make it through this whole video. This is nasty as fuck. This is nasty as fuck. Nasty as fuck. Nasty as fuck. And any parent who let their kid participate in this video... Dad, I don't even know how his channel is up. 20... Any... Kid, yo, any parent who let their kid participate in this video, you are a part of the problem. You should not be a parent, bro. Girls versus one rapper, Lil RT. And by a little search, you can find out that Lil RT is 10 years old. Honestly, Lil RT's blow up is so sad to me. It reminds me of when Lil Tay blew up years ago and it came out that her brother was basically controlling her whole life. This video is so disgusting. Like, first off, the kids are dressed like how the people in the grown 20v1s dress. Very not kidly. When I was a kid, Damn, am, am I really gonna have to say back in my day now? Have I reached that point of seniority? We were running around in Spider-Man tees and Hello Kitty shirts. The guy hosting it has to direct basically every conversation because they're kids and are probably nervous. Then there's this one segment where all of them have a dance competition and one of the little girls is doing a dance where I, I don't even want to describe it like. Let's just say what Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion and Ice Spice are typically known for doing with their body. And the editor leaves the segment in and all Kendrick there's no way they left a girl a little girl shaking her ass in this video there is no way that yo there is no way they watched that back and was like yeah, that, yeah that's cool we can keep that shit in we can keep that shit in yeah niggas gonna love that shit the streets gonna love that shit nigga she is a child what are we talking about bro that's nasty bro you got another one. Welcome to the calendar, buddy. Lil RT doesn't even sound like he wants to be there. You can hear him in the middle of the video tired as hell. All right, baby, we're gonna go into the next one. You ready? Damn. All right, come on. I thought we were done. The big ass shoes. I thought we were done. Hey, yo, we almost done. All right, come on, let's go to the next one, all right? He don't want to be there, bro. I deadass don't know how this video was still up. I was gonna come into this whole video joking about shit, but this is actually disgusting. I hope he grows up and sues the shit out of all the adults around him. Because every single one of them is failing him. And since we're talking about 20v1s, we might as well throw in Pop the Balloon because they're basically the same category. <laughs> Pop the Balloons is funny though. I'm not finna lie. It's just funny. Look, 20v1s has no quality to it. Pop the Balloons, so some of these be funny as hell. I'm not finna lie. I just would never react to it. You gotta have a lot of trust in yourself to be a contestant on one of these. You pop the balloon as soon as I walk out and I'm straight London. Pop the balloon is a game show type thing where you get one contestant to be judged and a bunch of people judging have a balloon that could pop at any moment if they don't like you. This sounds like a good concept at first. Actually an amazing game show. I can see the game show there. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, this is a good idea. It's a very good idea in my opinion. And it can like, if, if people truly like matured up and like you feel me invested and you feel me did what's right you feel me if people actually took this idea seriously it could be a great great part of youtube but we all know who's taking care of this shit you feel me we all know who's doing this type of shit the ignorance man 
buildup of learning the person, seeing how compatible they are, then finally determining if they found true love. Kind of like how those love game shows do with the final rows. And so you see one of these videos and people pop the balloon instantly when the person walks out. There is absolutely no mercy in these videos. People don't- Hey, every love sauna appreciates you for the sub, bro. And it's pretty much profiting off the embarrassment of a random person. I'm not even mad at the people who host them. The contestant did it to themselves. Like, I'm so confused on the people who go to these. Are you looking to get famous from it or something? Because because I guarantee all you're getting is embarrassment. And the difference between the girls judging and guys judging is night and day. Like with the guys, usually they at least wait for the girl to talk first. But for the girls, as soon as the dude walks out, if he isn't their picture perfect Prince Charming, that balloon is getting popped with no hesitation. That nigga, oh shit. L lag, hold on bro. Oh shit, I forgot, to, hold on. Chat. Oh, how hell's my wife out good? Let me do something real quick. Yeah, I've been selling y'all, bro. What the fuck are y'all saying? Oh, Grandpa? Okay, hold on. Is it better? All right, it should be good now. My fault, chat. Has the quality been ass? The goat is the next glazer? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Yo, time out big uh, Paul. T time that nigga out. He's just spamming. Some of the girls will just pop the balloon because all the other girls did and they don't want to look weird. And I swear, some of them go in there just to inflate their ego like they didn't even go looking for somebody. They just wanted to pop the balloon. If you're a person going on one of these pop the balloons, you got to go in with the lowest expectations. People walk in with the biggest ego thinking no way anyone is going to pop that. Maybe they were gaslit by everybody around them saying they're the most perfect looking person ever. Then they start coping hard and arguing with the people on why they popped it. Hitting people with the classic, man, I, I didn't even want you anyways, it's just more embarrassing if you cope like that. You gotta, you have to, bro. Nigga, if you, nigga, if I ever did one of these, in all, in all honesty, if I ever did like one of these pop the balloons and nobody knew who I was, bro, half of the, half of those girls are popping the balloon because I'm not over six foot. That's really the only reason. Like, I'm, I'm already known. That's why I would never do that shit. It's like so crazy how shallow people are, bro. Like when you really think about it, but game is game, man. I don't know. A lot of girls fetish, fetishize height now. That just leave, man. If they popped it just off seeing you for two seconds, then they weren't going to be a good match anyways. Also, the rise of these degenerate IRL streams has been crazy this year. I'm going to be real. IRL streams were never normal, like not even back then. Because it's the real world, so anything can go, really. But never did I expect people to start streaming themselves doing crimes. The rise of Johnny Somali should have never happened. Going to a country like Japan to harass the people is a different level of up. They're the most quietest people ever. You can tell some of the people are shocked like they've never heard anyone talk to them like that. And of course, we can't forget Neon and Jack Dorothy. I feel like they're the faces of the general IRL streams when you just think of it as a whole. It's been a while I've seen something dumb on these two, so give it another two weeks and, and something's gonna pop up. But please, if we can, let's let's just keep these two off the East streets. I don't think either of them ever experienced the real world before they started doing content. Like, a lot of us grew up outside. Well, Jack Dorothy didn't, though, because Jack Dorothy blew up, like, very young and then neon like neon i'm gonna be real neon's smarter well i'll say this neon's a lot smarter than a lot of y'all think bro that nigga is smart as fuck he just does he just makes dumbass mistakes because he's a nerd like him dating sam frank whatever her name one of the dumbest things he could have ever done but it did good for his career though but it's dumb like a girl like that's not gonna stay loyal to you Bro, if you, Neon wasn't Neon, she wouldn't even look at that nigga's direction. I ain't gonna lie. So you just gotta got you feel me? Whatever. Jack's worse. Jack is for sure worse. Jack Doherty has a whole, like, OnlyFans empire <laughs> shit, nigga. Hold on, chat. <laughs> Jack Doherty has a whole OnlyFans empire, bro. He's for sure worse. That nigga has done irreversible damage to the fucking youth. Neon is just a degenerate.
thigh doing all types of kiddly things then got social media when we were older but they must not have because they act like being hit for doing something like being disrespectful is so shocking that's like the first simple thing you learn as a kid F around and find out i remember people defending them at first saying well, they're young, so of course they won't know at first. Which is a dumb nigga. That's a dumbass argument, bro. I, bro, I blew up on YouTube as a 16 year old, bro. I wasn't shaking my ass harassing people in public, bro. Most of my career, I've been a minor. Like, I've been a minor longer. I've been on YouTube as a minor longer than I've been a full grown adult. And I have never done some of the dumb shit that these niggas be doing. A lot of the dumb shit I've done has been after I turned 18. I'm gonna just keep it real. Some ass excuse. Like, you, you should know better by the age of 13. Huh? I knew better than them when I was 10. But both of them are about to be legal drinking age. What's the excuse now? I just can't wait in the next couple of years for the kids they inspire to grow up and be 10 times worse than them. And we're gonna know. That's, and that's the thing. We talked about that uh, last stream, bro. The kids that they're inspiring now are gonna be horrible once they uh, get, get bigger, bro. Yo, the next wave of streamers and content creators, bro, they're either going to be way better than we are or just way more degenerous, bro. Like, way worse degenerates, bro. It's going to be crazy, nigga. I know exactly who they were inspired by. The latest update on both of them I heard is, I, I guess they fought? And it's so funny because they're both literally getting fondled by their security to keep them back. You know what? I'd actually pay to watch this fight just because I know it'd be hilarious. And I want to end it off Shut. with ASMR. Everyone knows ASMR at this point, so I don't got to explain it. Some of y'all might be confused on why this is even here. A little whispering on the mic ain't hurt anybody. Well, now with TikTok recently, they've become a lot more degenerate. You'll see a video of someone suckling on the mic, making- Pause, 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 nigga, huh? Out with the mic. ASMR has always been kind of sexual though, like especially with live streams. A girl literally got banned on Twitch for farting in the mic a couple years ago. That is a nat. What's her username? What the fuck is her username, bro? What? That's crazy. Clip? Bro, I don't mean it like that. I don't mean it like that. What? The I don't mean it like. I did not mean it like that, bro. Chat, I did not mean it like that. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even think that was going to be a clip. No, I didn't mean it like that, bro. I, yo, yo, I did not mean it like I, Bro, I want to see if this shit is real. That's the, only, that's the only reason why I asked. Never mind. Bro, I don't even care no more. I don't care no more. Twitch were farting in the mic a couple years ago. That is a nasty digital footprint. But the new breeding ground for it is TikTok because TikTok's guidelines are just okay with it. It's crazy how girls can do all that crazy shit on TikTok. Meanwhile, when I was doing TikTok full time, I got banned for anything. Life's unfair, I guess. But yeah, ho hopefully we can chill out with the degenerate shit for at least the next couple months, guys. But this year's already bad. <laughs> 2025? I guess I'll see y'all for the 2025 version of this video. Follow me yes. on Twitter or uh, Instagram yes, and TikTok. Fire video, Tommy. Hold on. Always, I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out. Fire video, Tommy. Now, look, chat. Look, I did not mean, like, I, I don't want to hear her fart. I just want to know if, like, that's real or not, bro. Y'all, y'all, yo, y'all are twisting what I'm saying, bro. I, that was my fault, though. I kind of like, you feel me? <laughs>